Welcome to the Waterloo School Student News, Central Middle School Edition. I'm Dekeezy. I'm Yasmin. It's basketball season again. Our eighth grade girls are on fire. <laughs> Watch these highlights of our girls playing basketball against Bunger Middle School. One, two, three, target. I'm Angelo. And I'm Gabe. Things are getting exciting at Highland Elementary School. With the help of our local organizations, students get to experiment with garden produce for a chemistry project. My science classes were never this much fun. Check out these highlights. That means it's acid. Definitely. We decided to do garden lessons for every single class at Highland. We started this last year and we made these lessons and the teachers liked them, my principal liked them, all the kids loved going out to the gardens, so we decided to carry it on to this year. So today you came in and you saw the fifth grade chemistry lesson. We talked about acids and bases, which is part of the science curriculum. If the blue changes to red, it's an acid, all right? So that's what you're looking for. We got to use litmus paper, so then when they do teach that later on in the year, they will actually be able to have something to refer back to. And then we made slides and put them underneath the microscope so they could actually see the cells of the plants and that they really enjoyed that. So we did potatoes and tomatoes. So the tomatoes came from our garden and we have six raised beds out there that we actually made in Makerspace like two years ago. My group did that. So those kids that made that are very proud and they actually talk about that a lot. So we're hoping that number one, the appreciation of gardening, and then number two, that they understand that we eat all these different foods and all these different parts of the plant. So we're hoping that they're getting that. Plus we're actually hooking it into their science lessons. So they will be able to take this and be able to think about it when they do it later on in the year. I would like to thank everybody that has helped us with our gardens. It took us a long time, but we're really excited. And this year it's even better than last year. I'm Dekeezy. I'm Yasmin. The Wallu Career Center is being talked about a lot lately, and for good reasons. Here's a glimpse into the construction pathway. Uh, it does just set everything up the same using a uh, jack center. I'm glad that this has come and it's been a great opportunity for those kids that have the learning disabilities. A lot of kids that have learning disabilities are very hands-on kids, um, learn differently, and hence they're very hands-on here. He's keeping up very well. Mr. Lichty and Mr. Lauer said that they couldn't tell that he's any different than anybody else. He's very good, asks a lot of questions, stays on task most of the time. He's always, always moving around looking for something to do. We always keep him busy and uh, there's always in the next project. We can always move on to the next project if we have to. Right now he's working on a model home and we build model homes just so they can learn the names of all the parts of a framed wall system. It's a lot, it's right along the same lines that uh, they would do if they went to Hawkeye for the same class that they are going to get Hawkeye credit for, so it works out good at both ways. A lot of kids come here very early, class doesn't start until 8.15, and I know there's been times that Brennan's been here at like 7, 7.30, oh, Mr. Lichty said we can come in, so he comes early and he's like, if I could take all day classes here, he would. 
I really enjoy coming to this class. This class has helped me like figure out kind of, of things I want to do. It means that if he can handle it here, he can handle it at any college. I know that he can handle it because he's been doing very well here. Hi, I'm Angelo. I'm Gabe. Have you heard about the Waterloo Career Center? It is housed in Central Middle School and offers high school students real-world training in multiple career fields for part of their day. One of those fields is early childhood education. Hear from current students and watch them get hands-on experience in this video. Whoa, it's gonna be a slide. <laughs> so we are here at Elk Run Preschool and that gives the students and myself the opportunity to work with the children, which is where we need to be. There are different classes that the students can take. The first block is Intro to Early Childhood Education, but that comes also with the field experience of being in the classroom. And then the second block is called Exploring Early Childhood, and those students are in the classrooms even more with that classroom experience. And then the third block is Child Health, Safety, and Nutrition so the students um, could possibly even be those that may want to do nursing and they would have some options that way you know whether it's teaching nursing and getting a lot of background information on that and they also go into the classrooms and observe and use what they learned in the textbooks the Waterloo Career Center is a great opportunity. I want to be able to um, work with children at this age. I don't want to go above kindergarten if I don't have to. And then I want to get my degree in teaching, so in case I do change my mind on that, I'll be open to more opportunities. I love kids. Like I like being around them. I like babysitting. I like taking care of kids. I like connecting with them. Being around like kids and seeing that like you're making an impact on their life and like being helpful. I feel like it pushes me forward doing it now. It pushes me forward to not give up on going to college and getting my credits for early childhood. I think the perfect student would be one who comes in with a definite desire to be with kids because we want educators, first of all, to love kids. It's not expected that they come in as a college student because they are high school students, but if they have that desire to push themselves to be going down that path of college, we can help them do that. This is the Chargers world. And you're just living in it. Bye.